Hi everyone, hope you're all doing really well. So I am back with a huge Poundland haul and I'm just browsing through the shops and just taking you through the journey with me. It was absolutely empty in Poundland. And that's the way I like it. So it was really nice just to explore what's new in. They had some amazing new ranges in, including the Easter selection, and I also managed to get my hands on some Valentine's Day stuff and some Mother's Day stuff. I really can't wait to share with you what I found. Taking you through the beauty section, at the moment I've been really loving just taking care of myself and just having a lovely pampering session. And I picked up this deep moisturizing sheer butter hand pack and I'm not, I haven't seen these before to be honest, but I've seen the foot packs and I think they work really good. So I can't wait to try this one and it's also vegan as well. It says that it's one treatment and you just put your hands in it for 20 minutes and it deeply moisturizes the skin and helps to soothe hands and nourish now. So yeah, I'll let you know what I think of these when I use them, probably tonight. And I also picked up another couple of packs of these foot packs. I tried the honey and almond one and I thought it was really, really good. And the tea tree oil one is just one of my favorites. So these are a staple and I also found this absolutely amazing coffee body scrub and I thought that it would just work really, really well. So I usually make my own sort of like scrubs at home, but I've never used a coffee scrub before and this one just looks so good. And it says that it helps wake up your skin and smell the coffee with the luxurious body scrub and it leaves your skin feeling rich and smooth just like your coffee. And that's quite funny. So um, yeah, I'll have to give this a try and let you know what I think. I also picked up this L'Oreal Paris Elvive mask and I've been using hair masks at the moment just because yeah, it's just nice and I always tend to look after my hair quite well. So I picked this one up. I don't think this one was one pound. I think it was like two pound, but I haven't used this before, but I've heard really good things about purple masks and I've got like, I'm well, I'm kind of growing out some of my um, balayage sort of like highlights. So I think this will actually really help to just pick up the color and especially going into spring, summer, and with the sun shining, I just wanna keep like a little bit more of that highlight coming through. So I'm really excited to use this one. I picked up some Nivea Sun 50 Plus and it's the roll version. And I really do like these actually. They fit perfectly in your handbag and they're just perfect for when you're on the go. And I like to use suntan lotion generally on a daily basis so it's just a good way to just keep it topped up so yeah this is one of my faves i picked up another one of these black seaweed masks which i love and i love like the fact that you could just peel them off and they're really good especially like for your pores i was actually really surprised but in the makeup aisle they had loads and loads of maybelline products so i picked up this white eyeliner pencil i use eyeliner quite often and i think it just helps to brighten your eyes up i haven't used it today but it is really good and then i also picked up a bourgeois mega liner black liner pen and again i can't believe this was one pound so yeah i can't wait to try this it says that it's extra large and ultra black and that it lasts 24 hours so i have to put this one to the test i picked up jess wright's beauty nails and i've never really used any of her products before but i like the fact that these were square and matte and they were like an iridescent 
um, white creamy color and I think they'll look really nice in the summer so yeah I can't wait to wear these or try them on I also picked up this massive box which I use in my kitchen pantry and it was only one pound and I actually think these are so hard wearing and so affordable so in my kitchen pantry I actually just dump like items like crisps chocolates or even like excess bulk products fit really good in these types of bins and they're perfect they just slot in and yeah I like the fact that you can just pull them out like a drawer so I picked up another one of these because I've got an odd number at the moment and I thought that it would just be good just to even them out. And then just going with the kitchen aisle, I picked up three of these massive kitchen organisers and I love using these types of kitchen organisers in my fridge. I think they work really well and I picked up three for £1 each. And I think they'll be really perfect just for fitting in your meal prep boxes or like your meats and things that you just want to keep separate from the other types of items. I also picked up three lots of these jars. Now I've already got a couple of these jars actually but what I love about them is that they are made of glass and the the cap is really really secure and it keeps your food lasting fresh so initially when I bought them I bought them for like homemade cookies and just like little snacks like nuts and things like that and I've tried a couple of them and they have lasted in terms of freshness so I thought that I would pick up a few more because I've got a few more items in my pantry that need sort of like a jar set up and they were so reasonably priced. For one pound, I think they were such a bargain. I'm looking to like really just spruce up my pantry at the moment as well. Obviously with lockdown, it's really hard to kind of go out and find, you know, like everything that you need. But I, when I looked at these, I thought that this would be a perfect sort of jar and it's the perfect size as well it's not too small and it's not too big so it will be really good and long wearing and then just going into some homeware items that i found so these are candle holders for the pillar candles and i just thought that these would look absolutely lovely for any type of decoration and i couldn't believe that these were one pound because they're made of glass and they've got like a little speckle in them which makes them look a little bit more expensive so i can't wait to put these somewhere and find a lovely home for them i also picked up some more of these incense candles I'm absolutely loving these at the moment. They just make my home smell so nice. And I also found that they also had like one of these incense stick holders and I only have one at the moment. So I thought I'd pick this one up because it will go really nicely with my lounge decor. So yeah, that was a great bargain and then I found these two sort of like lovely little plant holders and normally I try to avoid buying artificial plants but I just think that these look so cute and I thought that they would look lovely just in my living room or just on a desk and I think that they would just look so lovely and they're made of cement because you can tell with the um, residue on your hands and yeah I just think they look lovely and they also had some gorgeous gorgeous candles at the moment so they had pillar candles they also had those little tea light candles and they had these little balls as well and they were all in different types of fragrances but this one just smelt so good it says that they'll burn for 32 hours so it will be such a long lasting candle i also picked some more of these up from the pep and co range last time i picked two of these up for like a hand sanitizer but i've actually seen on places like zara and white company and anthropology that actually you take off the uh bottle you can actually like use this as a lovely vase and that's what i was thinking so i got two as like a matching and what this one looks like it's a little bit more shinier than the this one but i think these will look perfect for like a little vase or a little decor please can't wait to decorate these and this was also in sort of like the pep and co section and it was only one pound and i don't want to use it as a photo frame or to put a poster in it i'm going to use it in my office and i've been looking for something this size and i just thought it would be a good sort of alternative to the ones that i've seen 
on Amazon. I'm hoping that it does actually work, but I know that when you write with whiteboard markers on like a glass frame, it can wipe away. So yeah, I'm hoping that this will work. And I also picked up a A4 expandable organizer in black and if you've seen my amazon haul i absolutely love my expandable one with like 16 parts so i picked up another one in black because i thought it'd be nice to sort of like separate some of my bits from that folder and this i found in like the stationery section it's a meal planner that also has a fridge magnet at the back and i thought it was so good because if you've seen my what i eat in a day videos you will see that i plan my meals for the week and i just thought that this would look so good on my fridge and help me so much in terms of what i'm gonna eat for breakfast lunch and dinner each day so yeah i picked this one up and i couldn't believe it was one pound so i can't wait to use this one i also picked up these cable wire organizers and i thought they would be a really good way just to hide your wires and also keep them in place as well and i couldn't believe that these were like one pound so i picked up two and i also picked up these cable ties because I found that these are really good for tying wires as well and just for the garden. I do hope that you're enjoying my video. Please do remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I really do appreciate all of your support. So we're going into the Mother's Day aisle and the Easter aisle. So I think there were some old bits that were left from that Valentine's Day section because I saw this and I think this was like Valentine's Day related because it had hearts on it. I thought it'd be a really good way just to use this as a um, palette organizer for my makeup. And I just love the fact that it had like little hearts on it as well. So yeah, I can't wait to like put this to good use. And I also saw this money box, which I thought was just so cute. And yeah, I just had to pick it up. Like, I picked up these jelly beans, which I thought were just so cute. So it looks like they are jelly beans in like a heart flavor. And I've never really seen these before. So I'm not sure like what they'll be like, but yeah they just look super cute so i thought i'd have to pick them up and then i also saw this which is a happy mother's day sort of like peach hearts and they are peach flavored jellies coated in sugar and i just love the box and i thought it was just a really nice little gift even if it's not mother's day i think it would just make a perfect gift how cute are these so these are like little heart shaped bath bombs like bath fizzes and they are in a strawberry and cream flavor and oh they just look so nice so they're six in a pack and and they do smell of strawberry more than cream just can't wait to try these and then i also saw some amazing amazing um sleep relaxation products in the mother's day aisle so i picked up this body butter i really love the packaging and i think it just looks so like lush products and this is the body butter in a relaxing and calming lavender so it's wrapped quite well and i can't really smell it to be honest because it's all wrapped up wrapped really good it's wrapped really really well so that it just doesn't leak so i'm going to try a little bit wow so the smell is so intense it smells of lavender and something else but i'm not sure it smells of lavender and then something else but i'm not entirely sure what and it's really, really rich in terms of the moisturizer and oh, it smells so nice. Like I'm feeling relaxed already. And also I picked up a, so a similar version, but it's the clay mask from the same company. And this one says that it's relaxing and calming lavender. So I'm assuming that it's a lavender clay mask. Surprisingly, it's in like a, in a blue kind of tinted mask color. And usually when I use clay mask, it's in a black color. So yeah, that's strange. 
and then I can still smell I can still smell the body butter it's so good I also got this salt body scrub as well and oh my god it just smells so good so yeah again I can see that it's like in a little purple color so yeah I can't wait to wear can't wait to try what these are like but I can tell you now the body butter you can still smell it and it just smells so good and I picked up this wild jasmine candle and this passion flower candle and these were in the Mother's Day section and they smell so good so they come in this amazing little jar which is really really cute and they look like this and they just smell so nice I mean the wild jasmine smells so lovely and then the passion flower again it comes in a really nice packaging and it smells really nice out of the two I think the wild jasmine is really lovely these would make a perfect gift for anyone or they would just look so nice in terms of decor and then last but not least I picked up this amazing spring wreath so they had so many like easter items on show and yeah when i saw this i just thought how cute is this and like i just had to pick it up because it would just look so lovely on my door so i picked this one up and they also had like a bunny rabbit as well and they had a few other ones i think this one was three pounds but for the price i just think it's it's so lovely i really hope that you've enjoyed my poundland haul and all the items that i got please do let me know what your favorite one was mm -hmm.